like we always do at this time. Swoosh. <laughs> I've always been told that I'm too small, I'm not big enough, I'm not fast enough, I don't have what it takes to be the best and stay there, sweat is necessary. Walter and Jerry had their heels, never being comfortable with just good enough. It's right now, never! Hey. It's right now, never! I prepare so no one can take what is mine. No one can replace my mind, my heart. Lombardi inspired me. And now our biggest prize bears his name. I'm older. Of course I'm older. That's the beauty of it. 16 years plus. A different level of wisdom. A different level of understanding. A different level of punishment. I want to live long after my records have fallen. Long after my rings have tarnished. And whatever you got to do to make sure you chase your legacy every second of your life. Will you be remembered? How would you be remembered? Why wouldn't you fight for the greatest achievement ever? Leave your mark. What's up, everybody? This is Kelton Gazelle, Boss I Quit, Alexandra Video Network, Boss I Quit. And I am excited and overjoyed to be connected with a very, very special guest right now from the Southern California Black Chamber of Commerce, Pomona Valley chapter. We had a very, very exciting meeting. And if you have been tuned in to your emails, your social media sites, your smartphone texts, you know that tonight we were talking about this book right here, which is called Seven Keys to Success, Practical Principles for Personal Achievement by Mr. Kijana Owens, who believes that no matter where we are in life, at any point in our lives, we are only a decision away from making the change that breaks us through from a mundane existence in the rat race to creating the lives and lifestyles we truly desire, if we're willing to do the work that it takes to achieve it. You don't have to be great to get started towards change, but you do have to get started to be great. Man, it's a pleasure to be connected with you, Kijana. How you doing this evening? I'm just feeling honored, um, super, super appreciative to be able to share, you know, anything that can help anybody in their lives in any way. So, uh, Mr. Alexander, I mean, it's just a, an absolute honor to be invited to share this evening. All right. So, Kijana, tell us, what is the main thing that you're doing right now? Well, our, our most powerful project is we're partnering we're here with the Southern California Black Chamber of Commerce and our relationship that we just formed of the business development that we're going to be doing digital marketing being able to put people in position to win through the internet right and right now just out there connecting the dots to success with other champions like yourself connecting the dots to, to success that's very important so tell us what do you enjoy most about your work I enjoy seeing people get what they want out of their lives. You know, I, I really enjoy opening doors that it might not even be for me. It could totally not be anything that I'm interested in, but to have a connection that helps somebody else connect the dot that helps them, that's the whole thing of what it's really all about. And what happens to us by default is, as you know, the more people you help get what they want, by default you get everything that you want in life. So, in the process of this book, what did you enjoy most about putting this book together, Kijana? Because not everybody can be an author. I'm not an author, but I've written a lot. So, what did you enjoy most about the process of this book, and what do you enjoy the most about it now that it's done? Having it in my hand. You know, when you have some thoughts and ideas, and you, 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 you really want to do something, and one of the things in the book is complete what you start. When, when it came out, and I physically had it in my hand, it, there's nothing like your work from your mind, from your heart, into this world to change somebody else's life. And that 
was about the most powerful thing that's happened to me as far as books, writing, sharing, anything like that. So within all the things that you do as a CEO of Success Express, and you work with your dad, and he's a, you guys are co-CEOs, and your dad is a powerful man. I've had the pleasure to work with him here at the chamber and, you know, the beautiful, wonderful things he does with the art around here and the music and stuff like that. But let me ask you this. What is it about what you do? What is it that gets you fired up? What is it that, what is your why when it comes to what you do for people? What fires you up? What is it that you would alter or change in the world through your business? The why. W-H-Y. Who has you? Uh, W-H-O. Who has you? Who, what has you? Why, 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 why? Who, what, when, where has you? That is a deal. And when you recognize your why, and your why makes you cry, you have a passion that nobody else can give you, and I'll give you an example. Okay. How's that mom pick that car up off her son? Is a why attached to it. The how had no, read, no, no purpose. It's the why. That's how she could do it. And that's what I believe in business and success of any kind. It, if you have something that you know why you do it, when it's hard, you continue to do it when most others will quit. If the why is so strong, it makes you cry. You know, if you ask the average person, Kijana, why they do what they do right, it's very rare that they can articulate that. Why do you think that is? So, so uh, back to you as my why, you know, my wife. Uh, my kids. Uh, I believe that we all have a life and the lifestyle is how we choose to, to live it. And we all have a life that we should be choosing to live, leave some kind of significant service. So my why is that my family, my children, my children's children have an impact to say that, you know what? Because Grandpa Key came this way. Maybe they might have a bus of me out there in the yard, you know, patted on the head or something every now and then. But but he came this way and he made a difference in our lives that maybe they got college, you know, it inspired them to do something. And if you have that in your you could wake up in the morning and feel charged. If you don't, you could wake up in the morning and feel lost. So as we close this out, let me ask you this. I'm sure that you got a lot of accomplishments that you have yet to achieve. But as up to this point, what would you say is your greatest accomplishment? I don't know. I, I got to say driving across that uh, freeway from Texas to California to get to my wife. <laughs> that's, one of, that's one of my greatest accomplishments. It's a, it's a long story. That's for another. But I had to take a, a, a good long drive here uh, to transition from Texas to California. I don't think it would ever have. Um, I didn't really think about it. But life experiences and this amazing woman had me an opportunity to look at how I could change and build a lifestyle uh, with her here. And that was one of the, the biggest changes, I guess. And uh, my family, of course, three girls, three. Yeah, I would say that's a major accomplishment. You know, my greatest accomplishment of all the things that I've done, the awards that I've won, the speakers, speeches that I've done, the keynotes, all that other, you know. You know what my greatest accomplishment is? Becoming a United States Marine. Now, I don't understand how you could leave that out. But, you know, you said, you know, your wife and kids. So, you know, God, family, right? What they teach us? God, family, core. God, family, core. You know, I, I will say that's that's a great story, you know, to, to <laughs> share. Accomplishments, to be able to meet Mr. Les Brown. Wow. I've been around the country to speak. I own my own business. Mm -hmm. I get to operate and, and function in a business environment mm -hmm. that I created, yeah. and, and I get to help other people do it. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the best things in the world where people could stand on something and say, you know what, because of Kichana or because of something he said, I changed my life, and my life is better because of it. I think that's one of the greatest accomplishments anyone can have, that they made a difference in someone else's life. Yes. So I'm looking at these seven keys to success, and I, real quick before I let you get on out of here, let me pick one. You got start now, use what you got, control what you know, I love that right there, complete what you start, execution, share your success, 
stand for something. You know what? One of the most popular ones that the uh, audience asked you tonight was stand for something. That's personal right there. That's powerful. So help us out real quick and talk to us about standing for something. Principle. Character. Mm. Uh, who is it? Um, Helen Keller. You know, mm. it, life, you don't, you don't, I'm not going to mess up Helen Keller's quote, but you don't get to establish a ease and comfort without going through adversity. You know, life problems, situations, being able to put yourself as, you know what, I stand for change. I stand for impact. I stand for, and and that about yourself goes back to the why. Mm-hmm. You had to have a why to start, and you have to have a why to keep. So the why to keep is when you're standing for something that says, this is why I did the work, and it's going to stand to make a difference. And if you don't have something to stand for, as you said earlier, you fall for anything. You know, and I'm going to close with this. Standing for something means that you're passionate about it. You know? And to me, passion is a combination of love and hate. You love to be doing it, and you hate not to be doing it. Passion will have you up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Passion will have you going to sleep at 11 o'clock at night. Passion means that the only reason why you go to sleep is that your body requires sleep. But the vision compels you and it pulls you. Passion. You know what I mean? Like one of the things that you shared with the audience tonight when they asked you that question, you talked about desire. And you talked about drive. And you talked about determination, right? The three Ds. So close us out with drive. Why? What, what is it that, what, that drives you? So back to the why. It, it, without the why, the drive is just you can and you cannot. You know, I don't have to, and well, I could do it tomorrow. See, when it's a why so strong, and what you talked about that passion, you connected to it. It's speaking to you. You can't let it go. You 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 lost. I mean, it's not working. You lost friends, your family. You know. Wow. But but what happens is if you, he gave you. But I've come to understand more so than, as we say, purpose, an assignment. Mm. An assignment, that's powerful. Your assignment, mm-hmm. nobody could tell you what you can't and what you shouldn't and what you could and all those other things unless they show up in the gym on the side of you. See, if somebody show up in the gym on the side of you with an idea, with an, turning on the lights in the gym, and if you're a sports fan or you've been in sports you know what well tenacious people know what it's like to turn on the lights in the gym it's cold it's dark it's lonely it's nobody there nobody cares there's no extra credit for it but what you want in your life and if you have a why so strong and so powerful that it makes you cry you're asking the custodian can he turn that key to let you in the gym because nobody else is in there And that's what I believe about passion and commitment and what you said about drive. Without the why, where are you going? And why would you have a drive? They have to connect. Otherwise, you can't get up early. You can't stay up late. You can't not watch power on TV so you can make power in real life, sir. Amazing. Amazing. So you see why he's an author of The Seven Keys to Success. And where can we get this book and where can we find your work? And you could get the work on there on Amazon. You can go to Amazon. It's $9.99 on Amazon. You can go to KijanaOns.com. It's $14.99 there. What you get is a signed copy and what I call ancillary value, meaning in your package, you're going to get something personal from me. Thanking you for your business and thanking you for your purchase. All right. So you, as you can see, Uh, we are being summoned to another presentation. So that being said, we're going to let you get on out of here. So like we always say at this time, we'll see at the top because the bottom is way too crowded. And like we always do at this time, swoosh, and we out. Watch this next video, and you will be hearing from me and this amazing man, Mr. Kijana Owens. Stay tuned to your email, smartphone.